Brianna and the kids are gone and I have two projects I need to do today. I need to prepare a bed for our strawberry plants and I also need to try my best to clear our septic line. If you remember, Justice flushed his underwear down the toilet over a week ago. Everything's been really slow since then. I need to take advantage of this time that I have without having to pay attention to the kids. I need to really focus and get a lot done. I'll tell you though, she'll understand this if you're a parent. Part of me just wants to be Rip Van Winkle, walk up into the woods, up into the mountains, and lay down and sleep for a hundred years. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get to work. So I cut the grass really short to make it easier on the rototiller and I also watered this area because it's been so dry uh, two days ago so that it wouldn't be rock hard. If your soil is too dry, it'll be almost impossible to break. If it's too wet, you'll actually um, destroy the soil structure by churning it up. The soil is actually way too dry. I'm gonna water this area, give it a few hours to soak in. In the meantime, I'm, I've got a couple projects to do and I'm gonna work on my septic line. Today I'm gonna to make a rooting compound. This is at the suggestion of the lady who sold us the strawberries. And I'm, we're gonna make it out of willow. Now normally when you make a rooting compound from willow, you use it to root cuttings. She's suggesting we actually water our strawberries with it to help establish their root systems. I don't know if that method is proven. We're gonna give it a try at her recommendation and see how it goes. Willow is an amazing tree. This one's just growing here by the little creek. Willow is just full of life. You can take a willow stick, drive it into the ground, and it will actually grow a tree. You should try it. I'll show you next spring. I'm just gonna take some of these small twigs here. They should be smaller than pencil. I'm gonna strip off all the leaves, but keep all the small twigs that I can. Willow has just so many uses. In Europe, they actually use it as a fuel source for their power plants and they'll plant acres of it, and they mow them, and they actually get more wood pulp by mowing willow and allowing it to regrow from its roots than you would by planting a, a 30 year forest and logging it. The advantage of using willow in this method is that um, the roots actually stay alive in the ground, and you never have the erosion problems associated with traditional logging. I'm gonna add this to the willow that Alyssa, who sold us the strawberries, gave us. Now I'm just gonna cut these willow twigs into some nearly simmering water. Willow has two chemical compounds which encourage root growth. One is salicylic acid and the other is idolobutric acid. And not only do they encourage root growth, but they also discourage the growth of viral, bacterial, and fungal organisms that can actually harm young plants. So they have a double benefit. And there's a lot of neat studies online, um, if you search for them, on using willow water to propagate cuttings. A lot of people have great success with it. I'm gonna turn that off and just let that steep until tomorrow or the next day when we plant the strawberries. Okay, I've been having fun, but now I have to do my duty. I've got to pull this toilet and try to figure out where this clog is. First step here is to empty all the water. And yes, if your toilet's not draining right, you have to empty the bowl as well. Ugh. Water supply line. Then you remove the nuts that are holding the toilet down to its mount. Power lift. 
power flush. So that was a perfect flush, which is great, but it's not because it means the obstruction, those underwear are lower in the line, which is what I suspected, which means I need to get in my truck, go down the road and borrow a longer snake from a friend. I just got back from getting the snake and Brianna and the kids got back at the very same time. Hey Brianna. Hey. Brianna decided not to get the haircut after all. I love her beautiful long hair. Oop. <laughs> No, she got a bunch taken off here. Thank you. So this is about 11 or ish, 11 or 12 inches when the braid's not in it. And then she probably cut off another inch or so to like even up the bottoms, maybe even two. But I've always had the dream of donating my hair, but it's never been quite long enough because you have to donate at least 10 inches from the shortest piece. So I'm really excited to donate my hair because it's something I've always really wanted to do. I'm going to donate my hair to Locks of Love, and if you want to know more about that, we'll put a link below that will take you to their website. These next few minutes will determine the course of the next few days. <laughs> Thirty minutes later, no success. Okay, so this is not, the prospects are not looking very bright. I've run that retriever down there multiple times, pulled out little bits of toilet paper, and I don't really have the money to throw at a plumber right now. So I'm thinking about digging, which is a horrible, horrible prospect. Um, but I know if I find the line, I can actually fix it. And Brianna is talking about leaving and staying with my parents. So I think we a really good solution would be to set up a little composting toilet so you don't have to leave. Can I run the washer and dryer? Yes. I have been summoned to the bathroom. I really hope it's good news. What? You did it? We got the underwear! Ah! So <laughs> this is so gross, I can't come in here. It's poop is everywhere. Hold them up. <clears throat> There they are. Now, this is not joking, but we actually had just given up and we actually sat down and prayed that we would get these out. And there they are. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Because I had run it down like six times and come up with nothing, but I hit a, an obstruction and I thought there was toilet paper on top of it. And finally, we got them. Hopefully, it's totally clear. I think it is. Justice, guess what? We got your underwear out of the toilet. I want to see. You want to see? Okay, you want to go see? Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Oh, is this yours? Yeah, yeah. Now, are you ever going to flush your underwear down the toilet? Thank you. We, we'd really appreciate you never doing that again, okay? What would I do without you? Call a plumber. <laughs> <laughs>